My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Glamma. Oh, I love you too, Glamma girls. everyone, Glamma here. So, um, I didn't know that I was going to do this look till right at the end of the video. You'll see. <laughs> You'll see when I decided to do this look. But um, in the middle of doing my makeup, I thought of Kris Jenner because I couldn't decide if I wanted to do a neutral eye or a dark smoky eye. I ended up deciding on a dark smoky eye. And then it was dawning on me, hey, this is how Kris Jenner used to wear her makeup. So I didn't even have a picture that I was looking at. Um, this is, I just started doing this look and then it reminded me of how she used to do her eyes like this. And so not till my battery died, you'll see in the video, you'll see when my battery died that did I actually go and look up a picture of Kris Jenner. And it's just weird, I'm looking at a picture right now because I'm doing the intro after the whole video was over. Um, I'm doing the the intro last. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> but I'm looking at a picture, the picture that I found, and she, I had already done a nude lip on me, not knowing that I was going to find a picture of her. And she has a nude lip, and she has big bold eyelashes, and I'm trying some big bold eyelashes, and I'm using, and I did mascara on the bottom very boldly so anyway this is the look if you want to see how I got it then please just keep watching all right have fun hi everyone Glamma here so today I am doing an impromptu um, get ready with me video uh, hopefully I don't make it too too long but knowing me I like to chit chat a lot so it probably will be sorry <laughs> um, so Today I turn 53. Woohoo! <laughs> no, I'm old. It's not a woohoo! <laughs> anyway, I thought I would go ahead and put some makeup on because I'm already kind of bummed out about getting older, so I don't want to look like this all day long. Not going anywhere, don't have any plans. I don't celebrate birthdays or anything like that, but um, I just thought I, you know, because I've, I've been a little. Now I know why I've been a little down lately. This whole month, month and a half, because I knew, I knew my birthday was coming and I knew I was gonna be getting older. Ah. Anyway, um, so you'll see that it says right here, Glamaw's 53, so yes. So in case you're wondering, why do I always put my age right here? I do it because this channel is kind of like my journal it's my journey of aging gracefully and this is kind of like my video diary of things that i'm learning on skincare beauty tech techniques and stuff like that so i put my age on a lot of these videos because i want to remember how old i was during that particular video and stuff it's not for vanity purposes in case any of y'all were wondering um so yeah i don't even have an eye look or any kind of look that i'm thinking i want to do today i just don't want to look like this anymore um and like i said i don't really celebrate birthdays or anything um of course, I acknowledge the day because, hey, this is the day I was born, um, but I don't do anything special. I don't bring honor to myself or anything like that, but I did get myself a little gift to make myself feel better <laughs> because I've been feeling so down. I bought my granddaughter, Danielle, this same bracelet, and I bought her a necklace that says Danielle on it, which I still need to get me one that says Glamma. Um, but I said, I've been wanting this this bracelet, but I got it for you instead, Danielle. She goes, oh, you should get one and we'll be twins. So I went ahead and got myself one too. And I got this one too, this infinity um, sterling silver little necklace. They're, they were inexpensive, not, not expensive at all. Um, they're sterling silver. Of course, these are cubic zirconias. Um, and yeah, and this is sterling silver as well. I like gold, but there's days that I like to wear silver. So anyway, <laughs> see, I'm already babbling. It's already a four minute video and I haven't even started yet. So I'm gonna get started with my Garnier Skin Active Clear, Clearly Brighter Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Moisturizer. That's a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm not really going anywhere today. I spent a lot of money yesterday 
which I have that video um, in a vlog that I'll be putting together here soon. Um, I think I spent a lot of money yesterday. I spent most of my paycheck, my Google paycheck, because I've been depressed about getting old. <laughs> That's okay. It's just a number, right? No, it's life. It's years of life that I've lived. That's what it is. So when people say it's just a number, no, it's not. I've had 53 years of experiences um, and not all of them positive. So to me, it's not just a number. I've survived my life <laughs> for 53 years. Um, and there's been, like I said, good and bad. And I'm still here. Yes. So I guess that's a celebration in itself. The fact that I'm still here, <laughs> still standing, didn't let any of that negative stuff that's happened to me my whole life. I didn't let it knock me down. I always pick myself back up. All right, so there's that. Now I'm going to put on my e.l.f. What is it? E.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I love this stuff. This is like Photoshop, like real life Photoshop. It totally photoshops my wrinkles away. If only it would stay. <laughs> if only they never came back after applying it. And I put it wherever, like I have pores right here. I have fine lines here, fine lines there. So I put it wherever I have fine lines and bigger pores. So yeah, alrighty, let's get this in. One day I'll have to do, um, please, I know people always say, don't look at my nails, but when people say that, then you end up looking at it. But um, yeah, my nails are really messed up. I had blingy stuff on it and the blingy stuff fell off, so now it left my nails all messed up. So go ahead and look but they're all messed up. <laughs> Nothing pretty to look at. You know what, I need to put a headband on. I love this primer and it's so inexpensive. Most of e.l.f. products are inexpensive. So I think I'm gonna try to stick with, I don't know, maybe not. I was gonna say a neutral eye look, but maybe I'll do a bold, dramatic look I'm wearing charcoal gray maybe I'll do a I call it the Kris Jenner eye look where she wears really dark eyeshadow um, remember she used to do that I don't know if she still does but maybe I'll do a look like that or maybe I'll do a natural look I don't know so I just bought these silly little pom-pom headbands or headband yesterday I should give it to my granddaughters but no I actually bought it for me <laughs> I love wearing cute headbands when I'm putting my makeup on. It makes putting makeup on fun. <laughs> All right, so what foundation should I use today? I think I will use Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1, and I think this is in the color 06 Sand Beige. Do I want to do this first? Um, 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 you know, and I'm going to use my little silicone applicator here. And I know that a lot of people don't like this, and I can see why, because when you rub it in, it goes like your pores still look sunken in. But I'm going to show you what I do. I should make a video on just how I use this, because I know that a lot of beauty gurus have tried it and say that they, they hate it. And I actually don't hate it. Um, if you do it a certain way. So what I do is I rub it all in first. I kind of spread it all over the place. And it looks like a hot mess. And that's why people are saying they don't like it. So I'll show you why people are saying they don't like it. I'll get up close here in a second. I don't know if you can see, but it, see how you can see all my pores? Like, it just kind of like, it like um, skids, it like, what, what's the word I'm looking for? It just like glides over and leaves the pores visible. But what I do because of that is after I spread it everywhere I want it, then I do the stippling motion here in a second like you do with a beauty blender. Just pounce down on it, and I'm telling you guys, it ends up looking really, really nice, I promise. 
So I think soon I will do a video just how to use this or how I use it anyway um, because I know a lot of people have tried it and hate it but this saves so much product by using this because nothing absorbs in this it all goes on your face because when you use a blender look at how it all gets absorbed into the beauty blender okay so now I'm gonna zoom in so you can see that it looks much better than before so that's how I use it um, I spread it on and then I pounce it in afterwards and now I'm gonna do my found my concealer even though it says it's um, a two-in-one conceal and found concealer and foundation I still want to use my concealer to kind of brighten my skin a little bit I'm not going to go too, too crazy, I don't think, just because I, I don't feel like it. But I always say that, and then I end up doing everything that I say I'm not going to do. See? Like right here. I don't do this on a daily basis. When I wear makeup just to go to Walmart, I don't do all this. Um, I do it mainly for filming camera purposes. Okay, now I look ghostly. <laughs> so I don't know if I said it, but the video that's producing right now, um, it's an unboxing. I don't know if I said what the unboxing is of. It's of a product that a company contacted me and asked if they could send me some new products. Um, I think it's a new company just starting out called Nudu, N-U-D-U, -U, and they must have watched my videos or something because they know that I'm into skincare and aging gracefully and stuff like that um, and uh, they said under no obligation I don't have to show it to my audience or anything they just wanted me to try it probably in the hopes that if I liked it I would share it with my audience so this video is just the unboxing of it I haven't tried it yet but it sounds like such a great product um, because it's all natural ingredients so I'm really looking forward to trying that and after I try it, I'll let y'all know what I think of it. I'll give y'all my honest opinion, even though they said I didn't have to show it to y'all. I mean, I don't have to do anything I don't want to, right? <laughs> but they sent it to me without me having to agree to show it to my audience or anything. So that powder I just used, I don't know if I've used it on camera before. It's the Ben Nye, um, ben Nye Luxury Powder. Um, Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder. It's the one that Kim Kardashian made very popular and famous. I'm not sure that I'm crazy about it though, to be quite honest. I prefer the Ben Nye, I prefer the, the, uh, the translucent one better. Anyway, all right, let's put some color in back into my face. I'm gonna use my Be A Bombshell um, what is it? Be a bombshell what? Be a bombshell bronzer. That's what I'm trying to say. Is that bringing a little bit of life to me? My lights are so bright today. I should turn them down. Conceal that double chin of mine that I've gotten. <laughs> oh my word. So I went shopping yesterday, which you'll see it in the vlog later, but the reason why I went shopping was I was going to, I, about three or four years ago, I lost, um, like, I don't know how much weight, but I got down to the weight that I wanted to be. Um, I had gotten down to 110. I wanted to get lower, down to 105, but I was happy at 110, so I stopped there. And the only, and the, re, uh, the way that I was able to do it was by using HCG drops um, and so you'll have to do some research on that if you're interested in that because I don't know all the technical stuff about it I just know that it was kind of a fad back then and it actually did work for me 
Um, and so I've been having a hard time losing weight because my age is just like, it's harder to lose weight once you get to a certain age. So I thought I'm going to try the HCG drops again. But before I order online, I wanted to go and see if they had them at Walmart like we had purchased them before at Walmart. Um, but they didn't. I went to this Walmart. I went to Hondo Walmart. I went to HEB. They didn't have them. So I just ordered them this morning. I'm using my Milani blush in the color Luminoso number no. five. It's kind of got like a uh, like a peachy color to it. And Luminoso because it kind of has like a highlighter in with it. But I'm gonna use highlighter as well because I love some highlighter. <laughs> I like a good highlighter. Okay, I'm putting extra makeup on than what I normally do because my lights are so bright that I have to put a lot on for it to even show up. But I don't usually put this much on. All right, so there's that. What do I want to do next? I think I'll do my highlighter. I think today I'll use my Wet n Wild highlighter. This one is Wet n Wild Mega Glow. Is there a number? Oh yeah. 3218 Precious Precious Petals. Wow, I did it without my glasses. Yay! camera is picking it up or not. Don't know. I love this fan brush. It came in um came in one of my Beauty Box 5s. It's by Hustle and Glow BB5 it says. No, actually it must be by Beauty Box 5. That's what BB5 is. And it's called Hustle and Glow. Can you see that? Is it picking it up? I put highlight everywhere. Everywhere, all the high points of my face where normally light would bounce off my face, that's where I put it. Makes sense to me. <laughs> going to kind of stipple it all in. I'll do the nose in a minute. I'm going to use my e.l.f. contouring. I'm not going to go too heavy on it today. think it makes a difference. You can't hide this big nose of mine. <laughs> I am not good at contouring, but I do it almost on a daily basis just because that's my way of practicing. So practice, practice, practice. Okay. That's about all I can do. Now let me pounce this in. That's it. All I can do. All right, let's do some eyebrows. Okay, Elf, and doesn't have a color. Yes, it does, but I can't see it. Natural brown. It says. Let's do it. Lately, I have not been good at my eyebrows. Well, not that I've ever really been good at it, but I have got to get a thinner pencil so I can make it look like more like more realistic hairs instead of just drawn on. But 
Right now, drawn on is better than no eyebrows at all, in my opinion. Because I look like an alien without eyebrows. I know, it's crooked. I try to follow the natural lines of where my eyebrows used to be. <laughs> So one of my next videos coming soon is going to be me using the Care Prost that I unboxed with y'all. Care Prost, if y'all didn't see that video, is basically the generic version of Latisse. Um, the eyelash, it's supposed to help thicken and lengthen your eyelashes and you can even use it on your eyebrows. So I'm definitely going to try it on my eyebrows as well as my lashes because they both need help. Big time. Okay, I'm going to leave them alone. I know they're uneven. <laughs> you can leave a comment if you want, but I already know they're uneven. <laughs> Alright, what do I want to do after all? You know, I always leave my lips for last. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do my lips first. Why not? And I'm still using my little itty bitty little Rimmel Tiramisu lip liner. I'm going to use every bit of it that I can until I use the new one I just bought. Why waste product? Okay. So I've got that on, and now I'm going to use my trusty old NYX matte <coughs> lipstick in the color, what did my daughter say? It's Spirit. Looks like that. I'm going to do a neutral lip because more than likely I am going to do the dark, bold eye look. Why not? I don't think just because you're a certain age that you have to wear makeup a certain way. I just don't feel like that. I mean, says who? The makeup books? The makeup gurus? They're imperfect. The people that wrote the books are imperfect. So, to me, makeup is like art. It's in the eye of the beholder. It's in the eye. It's <laughs> it's in the hands that holds the brush. <laughs> okay, so there's my lips. I've never done my lips first. Okay, it's because I'm not sure what I want to do with my eyes exactly. That's why. Which eyeshadow do I want to use? These. This is one drawer of eyeshadows that I have. There's some bold gray. What else? I have another drawer. Let me look at my other drawer. Let me see. Here's more eyeshadows. Whoa, right here. This one has more of, has specks in it. Ooh, I've never tried this one. Let me try this one. I got it in a beauty box. I will try that. <clears throat> and I'm going to copy my daughter and use a tattoo first so that it makes it extra dark. Extra, extra dark. So I'm going to use this um, color tattoo leather. I think the color is leather. 24 hour. <clears throat> I'm going to use that all over my lid first. I hope I like that new eyeshadow. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm just going to use a flat brush. I'm going to put this all over my lid. I think this is starting to dry out. Mm 
whoa, so that's kind of an indication of what my eye is going to look like. So if you don't like this look, you better X out now. <laughs> or if you're curious to see, okay, let's see what kind of mess she's going to do to herself, you might want to stay tuned because I really don't know what I'm doing. Just trying something new. I've done this once before, but I didn't use any of these products. And it was a couple years ago that I <clears throat> attempted something like this, and I didn't mind it. I liked it. Actually, it's making me feel like um, back in the 60s when they wore heavy, heavy eyeliner and dark eyeshadows. I think it was in the 60s. kind of makes me feel like I look like that right now. Okay, I don't know if you're supposed to blend this out or blend it out with the eyeshadow. I don't know. I think my daughter blends it out with her finger. Let me try that. I hate using my fingers because they get dirty and I hate being dirty. Let me just blend it out up here a little bit. That looks better. Could almost just leave it like that. Y'all are thinking, no, <laughs> don't leave it like that. But like I said, makeup is in the eye of the beholder. Some of y'all may think it's horrendous, but I kind of like the look. And that's what matters, right? Okay, so I'm going to use, uh, it's called Iron. It's, I, it's, um, yeah, let me just start over. <laughs> it's by Ofra. Is it Ofra or Ofra? I don't know. Anyway, I got it in a Beauty Box 5, and my hands are dirty because I wiped my finger on my hands. And the color is iron. It's in the color iron. So let's try it. Just a little tiny sample is what they sent me, see? It just comes in a little tiny, does it even? Oh yeah, it comes out. So it's just a little pan, which I think I'm going to just leave it in here. Eh, I'll take it out. I'm so indecisive. You know what? I think I'm going to apply it with this same brush. Ooh, yes, that totally deepens it up. What am I supposed to do on the crease, though? I don't know. I don't know what to do on the crease. Man, I guess you don't need eyeliner after doing this. Ooh, I bought some new eyelashes I want to try today. I've never tried these. Um, they're by Kiss, but I usually buy Kiss number 11s, and I couldn't find them yesterday, so I tried some different ones. They look more wispy than what I usually use. I need to put this down because I can't see what I'm doing. I need my 10 zoom mirror. <laughs> That's a part of getting old. Can't see anything. So I'm going to go up with it a little bit and then blend it out. Because when I look straight on, you can't even see it. So I need to go a little higher with it. I think I'll stop there and now I'm going to try to blend it out a little bit. What should I blend it out? Should I blend it out with like a brown or just blend it out like that? I think I'm going to blend it out with this color that I just used when my daughter and I filmed the other day. I think I'll use this to kind of blend it out with. Tap it off. And I'm just going to touch the very top of it because I don't really want to put brown in the iron color. That looks kind of pretty. And I can always go back and darken the iron a little bit more. 
Well, that is a big difference compared to that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I'm going to blend it out more. Don't worry. I like how this one blended out better. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of the iron color. Because I don't wanna completely take it away up here. It's just a back and forth motion. Add a little, blend it out. Add a little more, blend it out. I think I should stop. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of the iron down underneath here in a second. I'm gonna add some of this right here to my bottom lash line and then I'm gonna do the iron color down there too. So I'm really excited because I have um, some makeup brushes coming. I know I have these. These are by BH Cosmetics. And I have some Morphe brushes coming. Um, and I got a eyeshadow palette coming for Finesse. I ordered myself something from Morphe.com and I told Finesse to order herself something too or to tell me what she wanted, so I added it to my cart. So it should be here in a few days. So I'm really excited to try some of these brushes that I know that a lot of the beauty gurus use. So I wanna see if it makes a difference in how my makeup applies. I think I wanna bring this down kind of far. Let me use a different brush. Because I know it's going to make me look like a raccoon right now, but I kind of want to bring it down far. And then the black, the iron, I'm just going to keep close to my lash line. I never used to do this because I thought you go through all that trouble to conceal, put concealer and everything to brighten it all up under your eye, and then you go ahead and darken it all up like a raccoon. You end up almost worse than what you start with, I used to think. But I actually like how it looks now. After you have your mascara and everything on, I really like how it looks. So I'm gonna keep doing it like that now. So now I got a little bit of the um, iron and I'm gonna put it close to my lash line. See how that works out carry it. I'm going to kind of bring it from the top. I'm going to kind of bring it all so that it makes it even so that it's kind of a continuous little line there. This is going to give me more of a smoky eye look. By putting eyeshadow down on the bottom, I'm noticing that's what gives you that nice um, gradient smoky eye look. I've got my door closed because the cats keep coming in here and messing with everything, but it's so hot in here. You have no idea with these lights, and I have no AC in this room, and I live in Texas. It's so hot in here right now. Beauty is pain. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave it, I think, at that. Maybe blend it out a little bit. Let me see. I'm gonna blend that down a little bit. I know, I'm making myself look like I have a black eye, right? <laughs> All right, so I actually do like this um, iron color right here. It's very nice, and they sent me a whole pan of it, so that's nice. 
Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I've been holding on to it for like probably six months or so. I keep forgetting to use it. Okay. So I think that's all I'm going to do for the dark eyeshadow. I'm going to put some highlighter on the brow bone. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should try this as highlighter right there since I have it here. See, I'm going to blend this out a teeny bit. Just tap it a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. This is by Prestige and it's Total Intensity in the color Blackest Black. I'm still recording, yes. Trust me, it's happened so many times where I think I'm recording and I look up and it's not recording. I lose segments thinking that it was recording and it wasn't. So if you ever see me looking at the monitor, that's what I'm looking for to make sure I'm still recording for y'all. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Intense. All right. Mm, I have to do my bottom lashes, I guess. And I'm using the Luminous False Fiber Lashes. Who is it by? I have no idea. Eh, y'all probably know who that's by. I can't see. It only lets me do like 19 or 20 minute increment videos and then it splices them together. But sometimes it cuts off if my battery is dead or if my SD card is full. So I'll be back when I'm done with my bottom lashes. So I ended up finishing this eye. I did the bottom with the voluminous right here that I showed y'all. But then I decided since I'm going to be doing new um, false eyelashes that are kind of wispy, I went ahead and uh, finished off my bottom lashes with my Peak um, 3D Fiber Lashes Mascara and look at how long they get. Oh my word, they get so, so long. Look at that. <laughs> so now I'm going to do the same thing. This is with just regular mascara and look at how it gets when you use the fiber lashes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. Alright, so I'll be back when I finish this eye now. Okay, so I did both eyes. Look at the difference. Wow. And if you rewind the video, you'll see that my eyelashes are so, so non-visible um, when I don't have anything on them. So for them to even get like this, yours can get like this too. And probably longer because you probably have longer eyelashes to begin with than I do. So these are the Kiss eyelashes that I'm telling you that I'm going to try for the first time. I don't know if it has a name or not. Um... No, it just says 62011, and then underneath that it says KFLD02. So that's what it looks like. That's what you would be looking for if you want to try these. So they are, they're longer and wispier than I usually use, so I'm excited to try them. 
my battery's about to die, so I hope it doesn't. I've got another one charging over here, so I hope I make it in time. Hope that one finishes charging before this one ends up dying. All right, so let's see what we got here. I don't think it comes with glue, does it? I don't think so. I think it's just this, but I don't know how to open it. All right, so here they are. So adorable. Okay, so I'm going to use my strip lash adhesive that I got at Walmart. It's a brush on, so I love these brush on ones. And this looks like it's going to fit my eye good because the ones I usually use are longer. So these are probably going to go on really nice, I hope anyway. So I'm just putting, I'm just brushing the glue on. And now we have to wait for it to get tacky. So, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I did notice that it says right here, sultry underscore A. So I don't know if that's something you want to look for, but I also noticed Okay, so my battery died and um, my SD card got full, so it's probably been about 15 minutes since I got cut off there. And so what I did is I um, ended up looking online for some Kris Jenner photos, which you've probably seen it up here in the corner this whole time because by the time I'm done filming this, I'll be editing, I'll already put it up here, but um, I just now actually went and found it. So you'll know when I went and found that picture up there. Um, and so one of the, I haven't decided which picture I want to use yet. There's one where she's wearing a white outfit with pearls and she's got her hands like this. Um, so I noticed her hands were polished, her nails were polished black. So I also went and polished my nails black um, during this time and they're still kind of wet and tacky. And getting old is not fun. I thought I was spraying my nail dryer stuff on this stuff right here. Hold on a second. I thought I was spraying this on my hand, which maybe I'll do it now. Um, but you know what I sprayed? <laughs> Oh my word, I sprayed my Cantu oil sheen, so I had oil all over my nails. So I had to go rinse them, and so since I was doing all that, I filled a bucket with, um, not a bucket, just a little Tupperware with ice cold water with ice, and just dunked them in there so that they would hurry up and dry. But because the I did the oil first, there's little bumps on them, so that's okay though. Um, so I found a couple pictures, one with the white and one with her wearing black. So I haven't decided which one I'll have up here. Maybe I'll have one on each side. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I thought about using the one where she's wearing black because I'm wearing a dark color and I don't feel like changing and I don't feel like going and looking for my pearls and putting on a white jacket like she has on. But I might. You never know what's going to happen at the end of this video. <laughs> So what I had started to tell you before the camera died on me was that I noticed that there's a little feather here because it says light and soft as a feather and they really are guys look oh my goodness they are so soft and they feel like your own lashes I think these might be my new favorites I don't know look how long they are <laughs> Um, one thing I do want to do, I'm pretty much done, but I do want, I forgot to put eyeliner. I wasn't sure if I was going to use it or not, but I think I will just to kind of finish off the look. Um, and then I'll take my hair down and decide if I want to go put on a white jacket or just stay like this. I don't know. So let me go ahead and do this. I'm looking, I had to... I had to take the stuff off of my SD card, so I'm seeing a picture of me with these on, and I look so silly, but that's okay. They're fun. Okay, so I'm going to just very lightly, I think it's going to be lightly. Or maybe not, maybe it's going to be thick. Put some eyeliner on. Why not? Go bold, like Vanessa said. Go big or go home, she said, on our video. But I'm messing up because now I'm all nervous because my nails are wet. Live TV. <laughs> Even though this isn't TV. Oh, 
Okay, so there's one eye. This is without. This is with. And I'm just going to finish it off and do the other one now. I found some pictures of Kris Jenner when she was younger. Oh my word. I mean, I've always thought that um, Kim Kardashian looks just like her. But I found a picture that I would swear it is um, Kim Kardashian. I don't think it was. I think it really was Kris. But maybe I'll post it up here. I'll put it up here for you all to see which one I'm talking about. She looked just like her. So maybe it was Kim. Now that's too big. And I should go home now. <laughs> Maybe it'll lessen up once it dries. I don't know. All right. Um, so there's that. I kind of messed that up. Should have left it alone. Um, oh, gosh. Have you guys heard? that um, Kylie, her youngest daughter, is pregnant. She's five months pregnant. I think I just... I mean, I've been hearing about it on Facebook. My daughter-in-law tagged me on something where it showed that she was um, pregnant. I didn't know how far along she was. But I have been watching the Kylie Jenner show, and of course they didn't mention it on there, but I knew that they were flying her down to go see some boy in Florida, so it's probably his baby. Um, but yeah, okay, well, I think I'm pretty much done. I just need to decide, need to de de <laughs> I just need to decide, I just need to decide if I'm going to stay in this or if I'm going to throw on a white jacket. Don't really want to dig through my closet because my nails are still a bit tacky. So I might just do this and maybe just, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, won't we? Okay, did I do everything I wanted to do? Oh, here's the nail polish I used. It's just um, Wet n Wild, and it's in the color Black Cream. And the top says 42, 424A. So that's what I used, in case you're wondering. And the eyeliner, did I already say, is e.l.f.? All right, this is a really long video. I'm really sorry. I'll try to edit out as much as I can. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this. I know that a lot of y'all are going to say it's too bold. You're too old to go so bold. <laughs> but hey, I'm old and bold. <laughs> like Finesse says, go big or go home. And I am home, so, and I'm probably not going anywhere today. Maybe I will go to dinner. Maybe I'll see if my husband will take me to Red Lobster because I love Red Lobster. Um, let me think. Yeah. And I noticed that in the pictures I found right here, she already had a nude lip. So I already had my nude lip before I went and found her pictures. And she's got really long bottom lashes. So I'm glad I ended up using my Peak Cosmetics 3D Campfire um, Fiber Lash Mascara. If you want to get your hands on some of this, go down into the description box. And I have a um, link and a code for 10% off of all their cosmetics and just look for Peak Cosmetics and uh, yeah, so go look for that and get yourself a discount. That mascara works great. Okay, I know I'm forgetting to say something and I'm gonna end up forgetting. So, all right, this is the fun, this is the finished look. I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna just stay in this or if I'm gonna change and then I'll come back and say goodbye and stuff. And I'll probably do the intro wearing this too. All right, love ya, see you in a bit. <laughs> Okay guys, so I decided to go ahead and use the white picture, obviously, because you've been seeing it this whole time. I couldn't find my white blazer, um, probably it's with my winter stuff, so I just have this little sweater on, so I thought I would come and say goodbye in this. And I still have my shirt on underneath, I just did this so that I could take the thumbnail picture. So here we go. <laughs> and I already took it and I know I don't look anything like her. She's gorgeous. I think she's in her 60s. I'm 53 today. <laughs> That's another reason I wanted to do this video today is because I wanted to just remember the day that I turned 53. It's a new milestone. Every year is a new milestone that I'm alive still. <laughs> so yes, I had a lot of fun. Um, it didn't even start off to be recreating this look as you saw in the beginning. I wasn't even sure if I was going to do a natural eye look or a dark charcoal look but I hadn't even thought of Kris Jenner until I started thinking about doing a dark look I thought oh hey that's what Kris Jenner that's how she used to always wear her eye she always had a smoky dark gray charcoal eye so that's when as I was doing it that's what popped into my head so I'm gonna call this video the Kris Jenner bold dramatic smoky eye look something like that 
<laughs> you already know what it's called because you've already clicked on the thumbnail, haven't you? <laughs> You're smarter than me. <laughs> you already know and I don't. All right, so anyway, I'm going to quit babbling because it's already a really long video and I couldn't find a ring like her, so this is the closest thing that I could find is this little or this big blingy um, ring right here, fake ring that I have. Um, so all right, I will talk to y'all later. Let me know down below what you think of this look. Like I said, I know a lot of y'all are gonna think it's too bold, too dramatic. I'm too old to wear this kind of look, but I don't agree with anyone who says that you have to wear your makeup a certain way if you're old. You can't wear shimmers, shimmer eyeshadows if you're old. Why? Who said that? They're imperfect. How do they know? <laughs> it's whatever you feel looks good on you. If you can't please everyone. So if someone doesn't like it, someone else will. But what's most important is that you like it. So, all right. And I like it. I like this look. I might rock it more often because I like how bold my eye looks. My eyes look but yet very soft and neutral over here. So, alrighty guys. Don't forget how much I love you. Don't forget to love yourselves and everyone you come in contact with. Alright, bye. Mwah. I just got done telling you guys that maybe I'll ask my husband to take me to Red Lobster after all. And look, he brought Red Lobster home to me and finesse. Woohoo! I'm not depressed anymore. <laughs> what? Oh, there's dessert. I don't know what it is. Those are yet. salads. Salads, okay. These are the awesome biscuits. Ooh, the cheesy biscuits. Baked potatoes. Yay. And ultimate feast. Yay! Awesome! And Sausage, dressing, butter, all that in here. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, babe. And your Long Island iced tea. Island iced tea. Okay, so maybe turning 53 isn't so bad. <laughs> I'm not depressed anymore. Huh? I get to eat some good food, and then I'll be depressed tomorrow when I've gained three or four pounds. <laughs> they even pre-cracked the crab legs. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know if I was in the shot. <laughs> just in case I wasn't in the shot just a minute ago because <laughs> I couldn't see what I was filming um, that is so awesome that he brought me um, Red Lobster because I was depressed I thought no I don't want to go to dinner I don't want to do anything I don't want to acknowledge that I'm getting older I'm depressed about it and like I said we don't celebrate so uh, but hey this is getting me out of my depressions we don't need to celebrate. I just need to eat some good food. <laughs> this is awesome. Thanks, babe. I'm going to have my red lobster and I'm going to watch Gone with the Wind because ever since Vanessa and I filmed our video together and we talked about Gone with the Wind, I want to watch it now. Yay! <laughs> my salad with ranch dressing. Woohoo! And I'm going to put my food on my real plate here in a minute. Aw, he put my Long Island iced tea in a pretty glass. <laughs> Starting. No, because I don't want it to get cold yet. I'm going to put it on my plate when I'm done with my salad. The butter's all there for the grilled shrimp. What do you think? Is this going to be your first time watching Gone with the Wind, Petrova? Huh? Careful. What? What? Here's spoiled Scarlet. One more time. Fiddle dee dee. I get so bored I can scream. There isn't going to be any war. Not going to be any war. Well, well, of course there's going to be a war. If either of you boys says war, just once again, I'll go in the house and slam the door. But Scarlet, don't you want us to have a war? Wait, wait, wait. I love it! Yay! Well, Petrova, it's I want you. I've got an idea. Yeah. We'll talk about the barbecue. The Wilkes are giving over 12 bucks tomorrow. Well, good idea. You're eating barbecue with us, aren't you, Scarlett? Well, I haven't thought about that yet. I'll think about that tomorrow. Her <laughs> famous the line. The B, the brain, the B again, and so on. Promise? I just love to. Yeah. Huh?
Well, honey, you can't do that to us. Oh, biscuits. I'll to tell you a secret. We got biscuits. Well, you know Miss Melanie Hamilton from Atlanta? Nancy Wilkes' cousin? Well, she's visiting the Wilkes' at 12. Melanie Hamilton, exactly. Then they're here. What's no secret about her? Well, anyway, we heard that is they say Nancy Wilkes is going to marry her. You know the Wilkes is always there. Yeah, I'm right here for this. How do we get those Wilkes? I also got the chicken on my plate. Get out of the way! You can handle it! Oh, yeah. It can't be true. I decided not to put it on my plate because because Adam says all the butter is in there, so I want I want my butter. So we got lobster right here, crab legs, grilled shrimp, fried shrimp, and rice. Nummy num. And gone with the wind. So hey everyone, thank you so much. Um, I had a blast first making that video for you guys um, of this bold, dramatic look. And uh, let me see, the, I keep putting my hand in the way of the light. I'm watching TV, everyone's in bed already, but I'm, I have a hard time going to sleep lately. But I had such a blast. Um, doing that video with y'all and chatting with y'all and then my husband surprising me it was so so sweet I can't believe it and I had just got done telling you guys you know what since I have makeup on maybe I'll tell my husband to take me to Red Lobster after all <laughs> so he brought Red Lobster to me because he knew I didn't really feel like going anywhere um, and we watched Gone with the Wind can you tell I love Gone with the Wind I have movie posters all around my living room all my favorite movies <laughs> got dark all of a sudden so yeah these are all my favorite movies <laughs> so yeah I had a blast and so hey if you guys watched till the end then go ahead and leave a comment down below of uh, leave a comment red lobster <laughs> or a lobster emo emoji if you can find one I don't know if there is one um, there used to be Anyway, if you have watched to the end, thank you so much. I love you all. And until next time, bye. I love you. Mwah.